You ask the average person to name the big names in fantasy books, and you'll get George R. R. Martin, J.K. Rowling, Tolkien, Lewis. But if they name drop this guy, then their geek credentials are intact. Brandon Sanderson. He's the big player in modern fantasy that most people probably have never heard of, apart from helping out on Amazon Prime's The Wheel of Time. We've only read a handful of his stuff, but we found some good stuff that can get Catholics thinking. So here are three Brandon Sanderson book quotes and their Catholic translation. But first, a question: What is your favorite Brandon Sanderson story? Comment below. Number one from Elantris. Joy was more than just an absence of discomfort. So a bit of context. This comes from a character who is, in essence, trying to bring some hope into a community that has been quarantined and left to go mad and die in a slum, kind of like a fantasy version of a leper colony. The character does it by essentially trying to give them their humanity back and to provide a safe, clean place with meaningful work. We could make a whole video just about that, but back to the quote. Many of us don't have to focus on just basic survival day in and day out. We live in a safe, free, materially well-off society. A roof over our heads, food on our plates, plenty of technology available for our convenience. However, we all know that there are plenty of people, even ourselves, who experience depression, restlessness, loneliness. So clearly, having a lot of stuff doesn't automatically mean a joyful life. Joy isn't just being happy either, or experiencing pleasure. Happiness might make you smile, sure. Joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. True joy is much deeper. It is the gift that makes you want to scream or cry with wonder and gratitude. It is the profound satisfaction and delight of being in harmony with God, nature, and in the sharing and communion with others. Elantris was one of Brandon Sanderson's first books, so we feel it appropriate to have a quote from this book first. It's a good standalone read for those who don't want to commit to a whole series. Number two from the Stormlight Archives, Book One: The Way of Kings. What is a man's life worth? The slave masters say one is worth about two emerald bromes. And what do you say? A life is priceless. Coincidentally, that is the exact value of a shard blade. So today, you and your men sacrificed to buy me twenty-six hundred priceless lives, and all I had to repay you with was a single priceless sword. I call that a bargain. You really think it was a good trade, don't you? Dalinar smiled in a way that seemed strikingly paternal. For my honor, unquestionably. Catholic translation: Each life is precious, with its own inherent dignity and value. We live in a world where people can be seen as less than or expendable for the sake of one's own profit. This is the kind of mindset the devil likes to promote. And so, to have other people killed on a whim or treated more like animals is hardly a stretch of the imagination. Human trafficking, for example, modern-day slavery, does this. They are not a person; they are just a body to be used for sexual pleasure or manual labor or drug smuggling. Or let's look at it another way: abortion advocates will say, "Oh, it's just a clump of cells, so feel free to be rid of it." To reject the idea that a fellow human is not a fellow child of God is to reject God Himself, as Christ said. Whatever you did to the least of these, you did it to me. A person's worth is not determined by their salary or physical aptitude. It is our task, joy, and privilege to strive to destroy this kind of thinking. It might not be easy. It might be hard to know how, but but by the grace of the Almighty, the power to do so is at our fingertips, one step at a time, one person at a time. If you want big, epic, high fantasy with grand world building, then Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archives is for you. Number three from Mistborn, the Hero of Ages. Why did they believe? Because they saw miracles. Things one man took as chance, a man of faith took as a sign. A loved one recovering from disease, a fortunate business deal, a chance meeting with a long lost friend. It wasn't the grand doctrines or the sweeping ideals that seemed to make believers out of men. It was the simple magic in the world around them. This quote comes from the internal monologue of a very important character who recently suffered a devastating loss of a loved one that really put him into a crisis of faith. He had been poring over all his notes about the theologies of every world religion he knew, trying to find an answer. Towards the end of his search, this quote comes up. The grand doctrines and sweeping ideals of Holy Mother Church are indeed important in the spiritual life. It's part of what makes Catholicism Catholicism. 
And it can make believers out of non-believers, absolutely, and bring you closer to God, absolutely. And the big moments of spiritual highs and the moments where the hand of God was obvious are also very important. But do these come up every day? We don't think so. In the day-to-day -day life, the simple magic moments, like a friend sending you a meme, or narrowly avoiding a car accident on your drive to work, or seeing the actions of younger Catholics that give you hope that this younger generation might not be lost after all, bring those moments to God in prayer, because those moments bring the love and gratitude and wonder. That is what draws you closer to Him and strengthens your faith. It helps your unbelief. If you need something as a good introduction to Sanderson or even modern fantasy, we recommend Mistborn Era 1. Cool magic system, strong heroine, and well-developed but not confusing world building. So what other Brendan Sanderson book quotes have a Catholic translation? Please comment below. We'd love to do a part two. And if you want to see more great videos that fuse your Catholic faith and your geekiness, then subscribe to Random Catholic Thoughts Geek. Don't forget to like, share, and suggest a topic. May the Lord be with you.